time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, March 12th. Wild and crazy day. S&P's up 51, NASDAQ up 226, Russell down five. Weakest of the bunch. Dow up 272, gold and silver red, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up 1.2. Oil slightly red, natty gas down 2.6. Grains are green, euro and the pound red, Bitcoin down a little over 1%. VIX down 8.6%. Down back below 14 at 13.91. I uh, did a little trading today. My early Rick hit right out of the gate on that flush. Uh, I posted, I got into a late Rick and then a couple minutes later, I just, I got out. It was, it was forced and, uh, not what I want to do in my challenge account. That's part of the challenge. Staying disciplined not to do any discretionary trading in it. So I, I just bailed. Uh, so I ended up booking a couple hundred bucks on it. But um, And then as far as my other stuff goes, you can see by my P&L line, I was a little bit positive, a little bit negative, a little bit positive, a little bit negative, back in the, back in the positive I had several re-entry trades, got a couple stop outs, but made most of it back. These numbers on my price action ones are not quite correct. I had an issue with, uh, well, Jordan said it was a toss issue. Anyway, I had to disable one, but I'm, I'm basically about even on my price action ones. And then I've got my NASDAQ one on that's on the border. Tranche one, power hour, vol crush, it's up 37. PM tranche two o'clock is up 29%. Power hour tranche two vol crash up 19. PM tranche 215 up 21%. Power hour tranche three vol crash up 24. PM iron condor up day up four. 2.30 PM tranche up 17. So we can just kind of hold in this area maybe slightly higher, but not too much. Should be good. Here's my current uh, position bubble. Chadwick, how are you? Oh, wait, I didn't put Chad on. Where is Dr. Chad? There we go. Chad, you're in. All right. Um, it's been, it's been rough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, We've kind of been chatting in my in the channel there. It's you know bigger swings. I've done my AM number one got stopped out full loss, and that was um, just like yesterday. Started off with my first one getting stopped, and um, was able to really dig out yesterday, but um, not today. So, by the way, the real quick, was, my uh, Power Hour update tranche one just entered on the 7075s, two to one. Sorry, go ahead, Chad. Yeah, so um, some of what I've been experiencing, I think, is a little bit of bad luck. I mean, I barely get stopped, and then it goes in my direction. That has happened twice today, and both were full losses. Um, and then... Um, my AM number two, I was able to book 20% and then got stopped. And then I had a positive lunchtime number two, um, book 20%. And then I could kind of see the writing on the wall with the push up and I had just closed it out. Um, 
So booked 520 there, which I probably would have lost that 520 would have been a scratch trade. If I wouldn't have just closed it, I could see that it was on a mission to push up. So, so I am red for the day and a little leery about power hour. Although I'm sure it will. Sometimes you get these wild moves during the day. It really calms down. Yeah. Yeah. Tough day, man. I, uh, yeah, I was on my re-entry stuff. I was just, I was staying super small. I was doing like four and six contracts and just trying to be pretty selective, which obviously today was pretty hard. Yeah. So I got chopped up quite a bit on those, but pretty happy with my trading so far. I, um, Caught some winners on some futures as well. Rode the uh, SPX all the way up from the bottom, basically, to the expected move. Got out. And then when it pulled back, tried to re-enter and got stopped out of that. So gave some back. And then when it got back above the expected move, got back in. And I'm still long one ES future. Caught a nice winner in Natty Gas and a small winner in Corn. So really right now between 70 and 75 is kind of my sweet spot. So what else we got going here? SMH back up couple percent after a little couple day pullback tech up well a lot of stuff green uh gold regional banks red real estate a little bit red biotech a little bit red everything else green stocks big up days oracle after earnings i guess yeah oracle's up 12 percent smci up seven NVIDIA up five and a half after a couple day pullback. Can't keep a good chip down. No. Nope. Meta up 3%. Microsoft up two and a half. Netflix up two. Red side, Boeing down four and a half. Ooh, Boeing getting a little dicey. Did they have another door blow off or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Boeing, they just can't get it together, can they? Makes me really confident when I go to fly somewhere. Looks like she wants to push, so I'm just kind of holding off right now from entering. SPX at 51.75, all-time high at 51.89. Oh, thanks. Opt for dollar. BA canceled orders on uh, 737 Max. Oh, Houston runway accident as well. Okay. Oh, really? And there it goes. <laughs> there she blows. Yep. So for all my power hour and PM tranches, my upside, I've got the 80 calls, 75 calls, 70s. Yeah, so basically 70 to 70 to 80, 70 to 80. It's 
So 80, above 80, above 80, like if we push to 85, I'm going to, that'll be a little bit of a pain point. Prefer to stay right around this area. Yeah, NDX. The good thing for me with NDX was because of the uh, strikes available, it took five wide on the upside, so that's helping me. But yeah, it's right out of range here. My... Um, my range for my index trade was quite a bit smaller than compared to the expected move than normal here. I've got the expected move with the, uh, the vertical lines. And then my iron condor is quite a bit inside that on both sides. The mediums are looking scarce. Uh, Chris, I've, I've dialed down my normal power, hour, but because I've, I'm going in with the power hour, the early power hour ball crush ones. So between my PM tranches and my ball crush and my pa regular power hour, I've got some good size on, but I've had to kind of look at all of those in comparison. So, cause they're all very. Very highly correlated. A discount NDX expected move at the beginning of the day was I have I had it at 159.2. That's what I saw. Right at the open. Oh, thank you. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I was looking at NDX. It's coming down just a little. Of course, this, this big range at the money flies pretty cheap. Can I take it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get in. I just got in the 5175, 5170. 30 points wide. I don't know if any of you have uh, had this experience, any of you trade steward users, but today I had, because uh, I was doing multiple of these, um, basically what I'm calling my discretionary price action iron condors. And I just, I have it set up as a uh, user, what do they call it? User triggered bot. So I just hit, I just hit go select my quantity and get in. But, um, so I had, I had multiple of those on today and I don't know, I haven't, I have to figure it out after the bell, but at one point it was like trade steward was trying to close my bidless longs, but it was on an overlapping strike with one of the other positions. And so it's like toss that what Jordan said was toss, um, somehow mixed up let's see what he says 
Looks like it's an issue with TDA's margin library incorrectly determining which longs were covering which shorts. So essentially it was trying to close some longs and it kept getting rejected in toss. And it just kept, I just kept getting rejection orders over and over and over. It wouldn't stop. I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I called the trade desk and I was, I was on with them and I was getting ready to tell them what was going on and then somehow got disconnected. And so anyway, so I was just like, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. So I, I jumped in, figured out which leg was the issue. And I just disabled that bot and it took care of it. And then I just had to manually, uh, manage, manage that one, uh, for the rest of the time. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but it was really annoying. Cause I kept, you know, the toss, you get those pop-ups. I just kept popping up rejection, 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 submitted rejection. So anyway, if that happens to anyone, just make sure you, uh, you know, just, just disable the bot with that little pink hand and then you can manage it manually. That'll help the issue. A oh, white tiger that helped any happening before. That's interesting, Elliot. I'm not on Schwab yet, though, so this was a TD issue, but it sounds like kind of a similar thing. Uh, Chris, if you disable the closing the bid list longs, then it just it um, so sell bid list longs on exit. If it's disabled, the system will still not include business, bid list longs on the legs in the closing trade. However, if disabled, no sell to close order will be sent upon closing the order, upon the closing order being filled. So I'm not sure exactly if that would have. I have that innate. I have uh, sell bidless longs enabled on all my bots. So I don't know if that would have made a difference. A discount. I've uh, changed my bot to fire a couple minutes later and then I changed it back. So today it was at the 931 time. So I didn't, I didn't like my fill yesterday with a little bit later, but not a good sample size by any means, but just figured I'd go in at the open. And a little bit of faded decay here. Oh, good discount. Yeah, keep me posted. I'll, I'll be interested to see what the what the difference would be.
We are just hovering right under highs of day. Five seven DTE double calendar came roaring back. It's up about sixteen percent. Put on a one two and a one three earlier today. The one two's up eight percent. One three's up eight percent. So I'm gonna try to close. If it gets to ten percent, I'm gonna close. So let's see. I got into my one two at eight twenty five. It'd be eight twenty five. So about nine ten. And we're at nine ten to close part of that. Also need to check my single put calendar. Leave that for now. Just a second, trying to take care of a position here. It's like it wants to push up. Here comes tranche two. Tranche two. Two power hour was seventy five eighties. That's what I got into. Seventy five puts eighty calls. Yeah, I'm in that one too. And I'm I'm two to one puts to calls. Okay. Like to see a little pullback here. I would think you're very close to 20% if you get a little pullback, right? Yeah, that first one, yeah. 
That's what I was saying. Right. We could hang out right here. I will have a fantastic day. If we start ripping, I'm not going to have a very good day. Yeah. But I like, yeah. I like to press my position size on these up days because they're so high probability. The last update did not work out, which was, when was that last one? Was it on the seventh maybe? There's a little pullback. Yeah, I um, should be getting close here. It's got to be. Six, eight, oh, that's wrong. I looked at the wrong. Put that in wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about 30 cents from uh, 20%. I'm going to take, I've got, <clears throat> I've got too much on the 60-75s. I'm going to take this little pullback to lighten up a little bit. I'm just not comfortable with all that size that I have on. So I'm just going to close my tranche one ball crush, book 60%. It doesn't need to come down like too much here now. All right, there we go. Now I feel better. Took some chips off the table, lightened up just a tad on some of those lower strikes from that pullback. Just 
You'll have tranche three come in here in a few minutes. Need about 20 cents to shed some here on my number one. Uh, and did anybody get in a Wooga today? Or be people not take the Wooga because of the CPI numbers today? I just don't, I only take it on a normal day. If it's a yeah. up day like this where we're up over half percent, I don't take it because I got too much other stuff going. Gotcha. This goes in it. Well, I got the pull back, but didn't get to 20%, darn it. Must have been a bit less long. Creeping back up towards highs of day. Yeah, don't like that price action. Little buddy, Although the Russell I just can't go green today. Power two is now getting close to twenty percent. Down, move down. It's far enough. They can hold on. I'm getting close to 20% on both of mine. But it's got to hold on. New highs of day. I got out of half of one. And I got out of half of another. Tranche so three some, coming in. Must have been theta decay. I 
God, I'm 50 percent of both somehow. <laughs> Tranche three just got filled on the 7580s. You just hit 20 percent on both. On both. On that, although I was kind of surprised. I think it was some data decay that got me on this the one. I was a little off center. All right, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Just kind of go to take a nap, SPX. Just, you need a nap. You've had a big day. Yeah, yes, for sure. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, not good. No, just a little tease, just a little tease pop. Thank goodness I just got both my OCOs in. I'd like to get these in before it just takes off. You know it'll solve that. Templates. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I know. I mean, I even created a template for you. I know. <laughs> Power hours when they would be really handy because he a lot of times it, they it goes quick. It just, the biggest thing is it, it just reduces a lot of human error. Right. And I've had that before. And, you know, the other thing that is very minimal chance of happening, but at some point it might is, you know, you're, you're leaving yourself naked for a brief moment while you get your SEOs in. Right. Right. Yep. So if something crazy happens in those 20 right. 30 seconds it did on me uh one power hour i think it was uh i couldn't get my oco in time and it just moved way out that happened once i remember you keep pounding me enough i will i will figure i will get those set up i mean i'm just trying to help you so you don't you know take a big loss before you decide to do it <laughs> Right. That, that's, that's my, that's the name of my game. I have to uh -huh. take a loss for it to slap me in the face. Before I do something to avoid happen, have it happening again. They don't need it to yeah. come back a little once bit. You, once you do it, once you get used to it. Yeah. The biggest sure. the biggest issue is taking some time to set up the different templates ahead of time. So, but then once you have them set up, you're right. like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I ever did this without these. 
Cause like adjusting your stops down, right? all that stuff, you know, you set your OCO up once, you don't have to do it every single time. You just have to go in, you know, you can go in and adjust your stop, but that's a lot easier. Plus you're covered the whole time. So. Sure. Yeah. I will make a something I can I'll make a note to myself to do that tomorrow. I have plenty of time during the day to, to do that. So I've got one, my PM iron condor up day. It's got the 70, 65 strikes. So I'm thinking about letting that one go if we get a little pullback here. I've still got a lot of size on. Probably a little more than I should. Over 28 minutes till the bell. Sitting pretty good with both my power hours right now. So yeah, it's definitely helping my day. Oh, that was one of my. My very first re-entry is just close the last two contracts at 50 cents. Very nice. Very nice. Just a little pullback. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take that pull back to take off my PM iron condor. It's on the 7065s. If it keeps coming down, I'm going to regret it, but I just need to lighten up a little bit. All right, so 75 is my sweet spot. I would take that. Let's see what the 75 fly is trading at. About a buck. 30, 40. Twenty five minutes to go.
That should be getting close to 40% on some of these. All right, Theta, time to do your work. VIX is kind of popping up the last couple minutes, last 10 minutes. Yeah, it is. Oh, of course, of course, SPX coming down. Forty cents away. That filled on something, my calendars. One three hit ten percent. Nice. Don't need any massive moves up. Sit right there. Sit, Ubu. Good dog. It's not listening. Ugh. NASDAQ trying to go through highs of day, I think. Yep. That's it, SPX. I get I luck it a lot. Nickel away from 40% in power hour number one.
All right, so my NDX is a little bit out of range. Tranche 2 vol crash up 64%. PM tranche 215 up 64%. PH tranche 3 vol crash up 77. PM tranche 230 up 77. Power hour tranche 1 update at 52. PM 255 up 64. Tranche 2 update up 29. Tranche 3 update up 12. I, I hit 40% on my power hour number. Which one was that? Number one. That's far enough. I just hit 40% on power hour number two. Very nice. All right, let's see what this at the money flies at now. Still at a buck forty-five. Buck Naughty Dog, how's your end of day fly? You're are you still taking thirty percent profit? Gotcha. We don't need any end of day profit taking. End of day sell off. Not allowed to. Right there.
All right, so I've hit 40% on both. That has helped my day big time. And I just changed all my profit targets to 90% because I may have a little Mahomes play going. I've got an order on the uh, 75 fly at two bucks. Looks like it's trading at about a dollar sixty, dollar seventy right now. Well, it's sitting pretty good for my for both my trades here. So, uh, Daedalus, are you talking about the the bot selling those? Yeah, it's got it at market orders. That's just how the bot does it. Yeah, those end of day fills up for dollar. Those are not going to be great with uh, with that end of day fly. But remember, if you get filled at two bucks, you're only risking three hundred dollars, and that's if it pins. So practicing with one contract isn't uh, it's not not too steep of an entry. All right, one minute until the MOC. I'm just saying you, you're only risking a few hundred bucks to do it for real, to get real fills, to test it with one contract technique. Yeah, for sure. That's... Absolutely what the paper trading is about. Should start hitting some 90% here pretty soon. Two point nine billion sell side. I'm not going to take an MOC trade. It's not over three, but pretty close. Two point nine bill to the sell side. Hopefully that doesn't cause a little sell off here. No fill on my fly yet. There's a fill on 90% on something on my tranche three ball crush. I'm 
some more popping. All right, filled at two bucks on my fly. All right, got both of my verticals in for buck. Looks like I got some calendar trays that just filled. All right, so get a little bounce. So I've got left. Got trunch three up day, trunch two up day. 2.55 p.m. trunch. Trunch one up day. Trunch two vol crush. New highs of day. Okay, I'm doing my uh, end of day, my, my homes in a different account, but I'll put it up here. To push up to 80 to get my put vertical filled. Nah, didn't really want this push up. Come back down. Vertical yeah. trading at about a buck forty. There she goes. Stopped out on Power Hour One.
need a little bit above 80 to get filled on my for a buck on my foot vertical. Looks like it's trading about a buck twenty-five. My put vertical doesn't get filled anything above 78. Basically, it'll be profitable on my fly. Oh, I'll come back down. Three minutes to go. I'm setting dead center on power hour two. Charge three up day is about to hit ninety percent. There we go. Yeah, my power hour number two is going to expire dead center. So we get below 75, all three of my last positions would pin. Well, they'll hit 90% before they pin, but. Wow. Power hour saved me. Power hour was the hour of power today. Minus $155, thanks to two power hour trades. I'm currently up about 15K. Nice. That's Rick. That's six, probably about 17. Here's my PL graph chop, chop all day, and then power hour, boom. <laughs> All right, need a little move out of 75 for my fly not to get hit. 20 seconds to go. Move down to 70 would be beautiful. I don't really want a 75 pin. That is what I don't want. There's the bell, basically 75 pin. Right. So took a loss on the end of day fly, but I'll take that because, well, I don't think 23K is right. That little down move definitely helped. Oh yeah, my NDX is showing plus 6k so that's not right that'll settle out great day overall great power hour should say choppy yeah, really rest good of the power, day. Hour. power hour big day nice elliot 26k to, I, I don't know my total yet my uh couple of my bots are off and that ndx is showing off so good day though all right all take care let's see tomorrow's live stream chat will be streaming in the morning and then we'll be back for power hour. Everybody have a good night.
Take care. Cheers. Peace.